Welcome everyone to this latest episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, welcome everyone to another episode of Jim and Java. As we start to approach the end of December, we're getting closer and closer. And I know that this is a busy time for each one of you. And uh, thank you for taking the time and making the time to watch this video. I appreciate that so much. I have a real heart and a real burden for your organization, for your efforts, and I want to see your income grow and I want to see you become fully funded. And so year end is such an important part and that's why I've invested 12 weeks of videos and want to really see you more than double your income at year end. And so please let me know if some of these things have worked, uh, some of the recommendations and tips that I've given you. I've gotten so many kind notes and letters and emails and texts from people. And honestly, it just really warms my heart when I just get those responses from you. So thank you so much. But also too, don't forget to put a question down in the comment section or reach out to me. Uh, just You can find uh, the information. I'll share it a little bit more at the end, how to reach me, but definitely down in the description. But if you've got a question, I'm here. That's what I want to do. I want to help answer your questions. And so please take advantage of that opportunity. Let's dive right into our question for this week. It's from Mary in Alexandria, Virginia, and Mary asks, how can I best utilize our board at year end? Well, Mary, that's a great question, and I'm really glad that you asked that. I know that it's so difficult at this time of the year to, uh, to focus your efforts on year end. And I know there's times when you feel like perhaps you're the only one doing things. And so including your board in these efforts and in these operations are just so important. And so I really would encourage you to reach out to your board and help them to understand their role in development. I did a video uh, about a year ago on the responsibilities of board members in fundraising, and I'll put that up above. But they need to understand that even though there is no owner of an organization, the organization, your organization, uh, does have co-owners in the sense that your board helps to navigate, set direction, and it's their responsibility, their fiduciary responsibility, to help to come, come alongside and make sure that your organization is fully funded and make sure that the money that you spent is managed properly and the income comes in to the organization to help fund the needs of the organization. Lovingly, caringly, not with condemnation, not to make them feel guilty, let them know that it is their role and responsibility and help them to understand that and then give them ways to be able to help you in this area. Certainly, uh, if you are following any of the videos that I've recommended over the, the last two months, I've recommended getting a letter out, I've recommended making phone calls, and I've recommended visiting. In all those areas, board members can help. They can fold stuff seal. Some may even feel called to help you write the letter. I don't mean that it should come from multiple people because that is a, a totally different issue that we won't discuss on this broadcast. But if they want to help you write the letter and, and send the letter from you, you can do that. Now, sometimes the letter can come from the board chair, but it does need to come from one individual and it's best that it comes from the most recognizable leader. And that typically is the executive director. And so it's important that they help you with things like, like that, but also they can make calls. If you have segmented your list, like I mentioned in, the, uh, in some of my videos, segment your list and call some of those people, follow up with a uh, phone call to those people. Board members can help make phone calls. John, Mary, Susie, Phil asked me to call you and I'm on the board and I wanna find out uh, if you receive their letter, if you'll be able to help. So they can follow up with that and they can go with you on appointments. Sometimes just having someone else alongside of you gives you courage, makes you feel better being in an appointment with you. Or they can even go on appointments by themselves if they know the person, have a contact with the person or some connection with the person. So look at that as a possibility to include them. They can also write thank you notes and make thank you calls. 
All those things carry great weight. When I've gotten a call after an event that I've attended from a board member or even a note from a board member, it's made a world of difference. And so those are the kinds of things that you could do with your board members to include them in there. Now, of course, board members are also great for recognizing staff. If you're doing a Christmas party, a year-end event, they can come to those uh, to show support for the staff and for the organization. They can speak at local clubs at year end. They can speak at churches on your behalf. There are a lot of things that they can do. Anything related to communication and marketing, board members can be involved. So take advantage of those opportunities that are out there. So Mary, I hope that helped you. I hope that was encouraging to you. And I hope that your efforts at year end are extremely fruitful. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like what you heard, uh, please consider subscribing to this channel. It's an ever-growing network of individuals, a community of individuals who are striving together to help increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. Take care. See you next week.